like obviously the first thing is that people uh, think their privacy is being violated but I also feel it's kind of necessary to for some types of uh, national security and stuff so it's kind of like a mixed bag uh, you know they are violating your privacy but I also think it can do some good I think these are different times and yeah. so if that's a tool that can help them you know save your life save my child's life I'm all for it uh, our use of devices is only going to go up, so naturally the use of monitoring those devices will go up. And there's already been kind of like, there's been like murder cases where they've used like recordings that devices around people have recorded, so I think it's only going to go up in the future. Um, do I wish it was like that? No. But I think that's the reality that we live in. Well, I think it's not okay. Because they, well, if they do it, like they should like inform us about it before they do it and not just like keep it as a secret. Um, I think that's gonna lead but to like trust issues, like they're not gonna trust the government anymore. Yeah. It'll be considered normal. Considered normal? Okay. Yeah, for security. I think there's little we can do. Um, On March 7th of 2017, the CIA lost control of over 8,700 files and documents. This included the majority of the CIA's hacking arsenal. These viruses, trojans, and malware can penetrate almost every device we use today. They can work against OS X, Windows, Linux, Android, and Apple smartphones, as well as tablets and even smart TVs. Not only is this the overwhelming majority of our devices, but a very notable amount of data is being pulled from the surveillance. This is completely separate from the massive cyber uh, weapon scandal with the NSA a few years ago. The tools that have been leaked recently in Vault 7 are incredibly destructive and can certainly be used against the US government as well as for it. The WikiLeaks post states that if let loose, these tools can deal far greater damage to the US than what it currently protects. The government has once again begun privately intruding on the privacy of its citizens. While there is an argument for the government's side, there's an even larger argument that the government should at least disclose what they're doing behind closed doors. The, f the video currently playing is a statement made by a representative of WikiLeaks, bringing up key points to the dangers of this discovery. On top of this, he also mentions that a lot of fingers are being pointed towards the president. While President Trump has not confirmed anything, it is reasonable to suspect that he at least knows about the issue at hand. Of course, it would be extremely rational to destroy all hacking tools used by the CIA, but at the same time, they pose a massive threat to us as well as our privacy. The answer isn't clean cut, but should most certainly be addressed and taken very seriously. In World War I, it was tanks. In World War II, it was nuclear weapons. And today, it is the technological warfare.